Well, All Blacks get up to all sorts of things when they finish playing, but uh, to meet this uh, All Black prop, we're going to have to go to a construction site. So let's go and, oh, for, oops, forgot, safety first, one of these, one of these, and then we're going upstairs. News. Hey brother. How you doing? Hello. Nice to see you. You alright? Good to see you too, man. Well. Yeah, try me, mate. Got, got all the all the right, right equipment. Yeah, mate. Look the butt. <laughs> well, look at this. He's got he's got the ball in one hand. Look at the other hand. Look at the left hand. He's a Jesus. V. He's a V16 diesel tractor. It's a case. Back in Dunedin, and and uh, this is the last place I thought I'd find you. Yeah. What's what's happening? Why are you back here? Mate, I'm. Uh... I decided to bring the family back from Europe. You know, uh, the rugby over there is... Uh, I'd, I'd had enough. I'd, I'd just finished up with my club, and I didn't really want to move my family around again, and I thought, well, you know, what better time to, to come back to Dunedin? Uh, so I decided to just pack the family out, pack the house up, and bring them back, and got back here with no plans, and Otago knew that I was coming back, so they rang me up and asked me if I'd be interested in doing a stint with them, and I Fantastic. said, yeah, it would be perfect. It would be perfect for me. Until I got on my feet and found I wanted to get into the building industry and, and that and I thought it would take me about three to four months to find something. So within the first week I uh, went and saw um, Amalgamated Builders and saw Trevor Hart there and basically offered me an adult apprenticeship so here I am. And look, look I know you've always been a creative guy and uh, but the, when you were kind of finishing up your rugby career and anything like this, were you always kind of just heading towards building or was it? Yeah, I think I was, you know, like um, I did a few years at art school when I was younger and uh, I contemplated going back and trying to finish off my, my uh, Bachelor of Fine Arts there but realistically, you know, I've got a family that I need to feed and as a, as a student you can't really, you don't really earn that much and, you know, by, by, by learning this trade it's, 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 an, it's another skill that I can use later on in life if I want to, if I want to go down that track of an artist. You know, being, being a sculptor, so. Are there any uh, other older apprentices here with you? Nah, it's quite funny. All the uh, all the builders here are calling me a young fella, even though I'm probably the same age as most of them. <laughs> but no, uh, it's, you know, it's, it's one of those things, you know. Guys come out of, out of a job and they want to change and they've got to start from the bottom. And, you know, for me to go where I want to be is uh, I've got to start at the bottom and, and learn this trade and then go from there. Playing back for Otago. I mean, yeah. What's that been like? Oh, for me, mate, it's just... It's been really, really awesome. Uh, you know, this is where I started my rugby career in Otago and, and come full circle and, and Otago's going to be the place I, I finish up my career will, will be perfect. And Like, I've, I've come back here with uh, with Otago for, to help them out for six weeks and at six weeks we'll reassess how, how well it's going and if, if they're still keen, I'm still keen, we'll kick on for the rest of the NPC, but... I'm not looking for any further than that, you know, it's just we'll do NPC and if, if the mind and the body are still willing, I might look at look at Super Super 14. And so. how do they treat having an old man like you back in the team? Yeah, mate, a few boys are throwing out the old Cordle call. Hey, Cordle, you all right? Yeah, hey, come on, boys, keep up with it. So, yeah, no, it's good fun. It keeps me younger, it keeps me, keeps me enthusiastic, trying to keep up with these young boys. So. And I know, I know you're originally from Auckland, your family's up north. But you're back here in Dunedin. Yeah, well, man, I, when I came down here, I fell in love with Dunedin, you know. Yep. Uh, it's just everything that I wanted to do, uh, you know, all, all the recreational sports, the, the hunting, diving, the fishing, it, it's right here on your doorstep. And my wife's from here too, you know, and she's always wanted to raise our children in Dunedin because she had such a good time down here growing up. So, you know, it, it can't all be bad. You know, the weather's up and down, but we get great summers. So, yeah. Hey, well, uh, Case, thank you very much for talking to us. Oh, great, mate. And uh, I know uh, I saw the boss giving me a bloody look from, the, yeah, from over the corner there, and so we better make sure we uh, let you get some work done. Cheers, brother. Thanks All very right. much. Love to see you. Cheers.